More than 1,400 MLG and W customers are still in the dark tonight following last weekend storms. WRG's Alice Coleman talks with MLG and W customers who are still without power and finds out what the utility is doing to get everyone back online. As Memphis Light Gas and Water crews work to restore electricity to thousands of customers, Christopher Payne says his home in Whitehaven is one of many remaining in the dark since Sunday. It's been very difficult. Um, it, uh, only thing that um, you know, losing your your food and everything you already prepared for the um, Juneteenth. Weekend. Payne says neighbors along Cane Ridge Drive have not seen any light gas and water crews and they feel forgotten. No response at this point, you know what I'm saying? We haven't seen anyone um, with the, any trucks, anything of that nature coming out of doing the service and the power to um, even check on our needs over there. Gail Jones Carson is vice president of community and external affairs at light gas and water. I, I want to say on behalf of MLGW that we are sorry that it has taken a, a little longer uh, to uh, get to them. We are working 24 seven around the clock. Sunday morning and evening thunderstorms created widespread power outages across the Mid-South, impacting more than 48,000 light gas and water customers. So restoration is slow going because of the large number of very small outages and almost all caused by falling trees, limbs and other vegetation. And you know, Alex, we have a lot of trees in Memphis and Shelby County. Light like Gas and Water says 36 repair crews, 27 troubleshooting crews, 20 engineers, along with several out of town crews are working around the clock. We uh, remain optimistic that our uh, substantial restoration will be done by this evening and that full rest restoration will be Wednesday. That is our goal here at MLG MLGW. Back in Whitehaven, Christopher Payne hopes the utility can achieve its goal as he and others brace for yet another day without power. We're blessed to have a fairly decent weather um, while we're facing these challenges right now. But the three and four day I'm delayed and no one out here to service our needs is a concern. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. And in a release today, MLG and W President Doug McGowan says he's actually proud of the solid progress made by his team.